challenges that I think young people in Botswana face would be unemployment rates have gone high. When a student graduates, maybe with a cum laude or first class degree, but without industry required competence, would say that graduate is not fit for purpose. There are realizations at the moment that the skills mismatch between what tertiary institutions are offering and what the industry actually requires. We have volunteered ourselves to IFC VTI assessment so that they can evaluate us, see what strength we have in regard to employability, provide feedback, provide advice in terms of what we need uh, to do. The IFC Vitae assessment was so timely. It's good to get assessed by experts who are now telling us about best practices and benchmarking us with our peers. The Vitae assessment recommends there should be a more comprehensive employer engagement strategy put in place by the institution in order for the graduates to have competencies and the right skills to fit in the market. We are now leveraging on resources, particularly on technology, and creating wider spaces for internships on a virtual platform. The virtual platform has given students an opportunity to engage with international organizations and have confidence among uh, international uh, communities. We are now implementing the Work Integrated Learning Initiative. It's a work integrated learning approach whose emphasis is on uh, balancing between classroom learning and industry experience. We really believe in more personalized teaching. There is a lot of theory that they would learn, but they would learn a lot more practicals as well. Where our students actually connect with communities and find real life challenges there and their projects then design solutions for these challenges. We want to ensure that a graduate who graduates from Boto is one not just techno savvy, he's ready for the industry. He's not just ready for the industry locally, he's ready for the in industry internationally. It's, it's now time to take a paradigm shift from the traditional pedagogical approaches, which emphasized on classroom learning, and where the students would spend years after graduation without getting employment. With the dual study work integrated learning approach, we are assured that by the time the students graduate, studies have shown that 80% of them would have already been absorbed by the industry, and the remaining 20% will be absorbed in the next one year. Young people in Africa don't want to be viewed as a statistic. We have so much unique talents and skills that we want to bring to the table.